one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven different pitches in the key of C. And I'm going to use the Roman numeral one to represent the first note of the C scale. To form a chord on C, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the note C, I'm going to skip to E, and then I'm going to skip to G. So I'm not going to play the notes D or F. So a C chord, a C major chord, is the notes C, E, and G. And there it is. We can play this same chord in a different manner. We can play it with C on the bottom. So here I'm still playing a C chord with my right hand, but my left hand is playing the note C underneath it. I can now move my left hand to the note E, because E is in the C chord. It's the middle note. So this is a different inversion of the C chord, because I'm playing E as the supporting note underneath the chord. I could even play G under a C chord. All of those notes sound good with a C chord. If I was to play something else under the C chord, it might not sound as good. There is no B in a C triad, so um, it doesn't sound so good. The best notes to play underneath your chord are notes that are already found in the chord. I use the word triad, and a triad is a specific kind of chord that has three notes, just like a tricycle has three, um, three wheels. So um, a triad is a three-note chord. And we can play chords that have four notes in them or, or more, but uh, for now we're just going to focus in on triads. And so in any piece of music, we use more than one chord. The next prominent chord that you'll hear in music is the five chord. So here's a Roman numeral five. One, two, three, four, five. Moving up to the five chord, what I'm going to do to form this chord is I'm going to play the note G. I'm going to skip a note to the note B and then I'm going to skip over C and play D. So a G chord is the notes G, B, and D. And that will sound good with a G in the left. I could play a B in the left, and I could play a D in the left. Generally, when you're playing any kind of chord in pop music, you will keep the note in the bottom that is the root. So now I'm playing G chord in root position. And the G chord is the five chord of the key of C because it is the chord, G, B, D, the three note chord, which is built on the fifth note of the C scale. So now let's build another chord. Let's build a four chord. Let's build it on F because that is the fourth note of the key of C. And again, we're just going to skip notes. So if we start on F and we're going to skip to our next note, what will we play next? A, and with F and A, the third note that we'll play will be another skip above, which takes us to C. So an F chord is the notes F, A, and C. So again, we can find that on the piano, just like this. F, A, and C, all of them a skip away, F on the bottom, and we can play it with F underneath. So we could, we could play through this um, interesting set of chords, starting with a C chord, a G chord. We could go back to the C chord, and we could go to an F chord. It doesn't sound over. We call this first chord, we call it the tonic, and so in order to finish the song, we need to go back to the tonic. And now it sounds finished. So a piece of music usually starts on the tonic chord, it moves through a series of other chords and finishes on the tonic again. The three chords we've just done are called the primary chords. They're called the primary chords because they're the ones that are used the most often in, in the given key. And then we also have a set of chords called secondary. And the secondary chords are using the other notes that we haven't played yet. So the first secondary chord we'll talk about is built on D, and nothing changes. What we're going to do is we're going to play uh, D, a skip above D, which is F, and a skip above F, which is A. So this first secondary chord is made of the notes D, F, and A. I can find it here on the piano, D, F, and A. And down here, I can play it over D. different 
sound to this chord. It's not as happy as the others, and that's because it's in a minor uh, arrangement. So because we're using all white keys, you'll notice sometimes we have um, black keys in the middle, sometimes we don't. And in this case of a minor chord, between your first two notes, you'll see that there are only two piano keys that we've skipped over. In all of the other chords we've played, in all the primary chords, here's C, you'll see that between the first and second notes of the chord that I have skipped over three piano keys, two black and one white. The same thing applies to F, I've skipped over two black and one white, and in G, I've skipped over two black and one white. This gives them all the same sort of sound. They're all major. So when I move to D now, I'm still playing all white keys, but what you notice is that there's only, there's only two keys skipped here because um, there's no black key after E. So this gives us a different arrangement of the tones and it gives a minor sound. So this secondary chord is chord number two. And we can also form a three chord and it will use the notes E, G, and B. Let's discover whether this will have a major sound or a minor sound. So I'm going to only place the notes and I'm going to show them to you here, E, G, and B. And you'll notice between E and G, I've skipped over two piano keys. Will this have a major sound or a minor sound? Minor. So this is your three chord in the key of C. And we can play it over E, we can play it over G, we can play it over B. Each of them gives a slightly different texture to the chord. And then we can also make a six chord over A, which is A, C, and E going up by skips. So here we have A, C, and E. Will this be major or minor? Two piano keys skipped between the first and third note. This is a minor triad. So you may have noticed a bit of a pattern. All of our primary triads or primary chords have a major have a major sound and all of our secondary chords have a minor sound. Sometimes in music you'll see um, something written out like A minor. In that case they're referring to the chord we've just made. A minor is in the key of C and it only uses white keys. A major is a simple change. We talked about minor skipping two piano keys between the first two notes and when we talk about major we talk about skipping three piano keys between the first two notes. In this case we would skip one black key and two white keys to land on a black key. This is A major. You can hear it has a happy, cheerful major sound. It's not found in the key of C because the key of C does not have a C sharp. The key of C only uses white keys. So when we're playing in the key of C and we play an A chord, it will be an A minor chord. This next chord here would be a seven chord and it's not one of the secondary chords. I'll write it out here. It uses B, D, and F. If you look at B, D, and F, all white keys because we're in the key of C, you'll notice that I've only skipped two piano keys between the first two notes, but I've also only skipped two piano keys between the second two notes of the chord. This gives the chord a diminished sound, which means small. So we're not skipping as many keys in the second half of the chord. And this particular chord it has a very dark sound and it's not used very much. Most often you'll be using primary and secondary chords in your music. Occasionally there will be some some seventh chords uh, found in music, but the, the, the notes for the B uh, diminished chord are B, D, and F. And this little zero written up above the chord makes it, um, is the notation to write out a diminished. So you can apply this to any key that you would like to play in. I'll do another video on how to build the chords in the key of G, and I'll also do another video on how to form these chords in different inversions or in different places on the piano.